The information is presented for educational purposes only, is not intended to diagnose or prescribe for any medical or psychological condition, or to prevent, treat, mitigate, or cure such conditions. The information is only presented here for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hi, welcome to the Whole Body Detox Show. I'm your host, David DeHaas, where each week we bring you information on how to heal the body naturally. We're located in Boise, Idaho, where we do a 10-day healing retreat, and are best known for helping people get their health miracle. If you want to know more about that, go to healingtheincurables.com. That's healingtheincurables.com. Or you can reach out to us on the telephone, 208-378-9911. Enjoy today's show. Good morning, everyone. David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center and your host of the Whole Body Detox Show, where we gather each week to give you the data you need to keep your body healthy and following the four natural laws of healing. And if you want to learn more about those four natural laws, which if you want to become a customer of ours, it's requirement. There's a requirement to come here. We give you a little test, sort of a test. You got to watch a little video, a little webinar, and it's about to call the Four Natural Laws of Healing. You can find that on our website at livingwatersclean.com, livingwatersclean.com. And at the top, it says Four Natural Laws of Healing. Click on that link, and it'll take you to a little video, and you get to watch that video. And I go into great detail on how the body gets toxic, how we get rid of those toxins, and how we heal the other organs by getting rid of these toxins. And it should be mandatory. For everyone beginning in first grade, I put it in very simple terms, so do have your kids watch it with you as well. And just keep in mind, the body has an innate ability to heal, but over time, our organs take a lot of abuse. And today, we're going to talk about one specific or two specific organs that take so much abuse, it's amazing they actually survive. But one organ in particular has the ability to be cut in half and regenerate and grow back, which is absolutely phenomenal. And that, my friends, is the liver. So we're going to talk about the liver and the gallbladder today, what role they play in our health, taking away our toxins, helping keep us safe, but at the same time, performing a lot of chores. So if you've ever had your gallbladder out, you're definitely going to want to listen to the show. If you've been concerned or you have a little pain down there, maybe in your right side, you might want to listen to the show as well. We're talking about how we get rid of that pain by doing a cleanse, a specific cleanse to get rid of those stones that are in your liver and gallbladder. And yes, you do have stones. I remember the first time I had the stones came out, they were as big as my thumb and black as night. And it was like, well, holy moly. I'd had this pain in my liver for years. And you know, pressing against my side, I would you know, press, reach down there with my hand. I'd press against it like, what's going on down there? Well, it wasn't until I did my first 10-day cleanse that I experienced the relief by getting these stones out of my liver. Since that time, about 14 years ago, I've done 55 cleanses of my liver. And the reason why we need to do that, we're gonna explain in the show. So, by the way, if you miss any parts of this show, you wanna go back and listen to it all, it's archived on our podcast at wholebodydetoxshow.com, wholebodydetoxshow.com. So you can grab all of our podcasts there. We've got some really cool interviewers over the years year, I should say. We've done 50 some, 52 episodes now of this show. So they're all over there at Whole Body Detox Show. We also have them archived on our website as well. So a couple of places to look or wherever you get your podcast, whether it's Apple, Spotify, iTunes, yada, yada, you can get it all there. So thanks for joining me today. And by the way, if you want to reach out to us, just schedule a consult, consult uh, call 208-378-9911, 208-378-9911. Nine nine one one. And it's really important to know about how to keep this liver well because at this time of year, when our bodies are taking on the brunt of the cooler weather, our protective mechanisms are taking a little dip. So if we get cold, our body's immune system dips, and that's when we can get these little bugs and flus and so forth. So we're going to talk about that today as well. So let's talk about this amazing organ. For those of you who have thyroid issues or hormone issues, or you've got rosacea on your face, or maybe you've got some psoriasis on your skin, uh, you've got to look to what has happened to the poor old liver. For those of you who cannot lose weight, you got to look to what's going on in the liver. Because what happens is the liver is literally this catch-all to take and clean up the blood. So let's kind of back up here a little bit. And speaking of being backed up, it all starts in the colon. The average person listening to this show, that's every one of you, is packing around an extra 12 to 15 pounds of just old fecal matter and you don't know it. 
Some of you do know it. You probably carry more because you're constipated. And you think about leftover, putrefying, rotting, moldy food that is going to eventually cause a big problem and it literally seeps into the tissues and into the blood. Now the blood is got these capillaries on it and it kind of drips all day long in our tissue of our body. And we have this amazing lymphatic system. So if you, for a moment, picture uh, about 800 small little elongated dots on your body from the down to your feet all the way up to the top of your head this lymphatic system is picking up these toxins that are seeping out from the capillaries of your blood system. It's called intertestinal fluid. Now, if that, those lymph nodes ever get blocked, in other words, if they ever get stagnant because you're not doing enough movement, which most people don't, then you're going to eventually have cancer in a lymph node. And if you've had friends or maybe you've had cancer and you've had some lymph nodes removed, you know that that is a big problem. So what do we suggest you do? Well, we always want to keep moving. Uh, exercising is great. But we having, having a whole body vibration machine in your home is a great tool to quickly move that lymphatic fluid. We used to use the little tiny uh, three-foot trampolines, and those are fine, but for 10 minutes replaces an hour of being on one of those little trampolines. So 10 minutes on a whole body vibration is going to help move that lymphatic fluid up to your vein that dumps it and then the liver takes it and the liver tries to do its best to clean it up. We're having a sale on these uh, vibration machines. And if you want to try one out before you buy one, you're welcome to come into the office and give it a go and just see what this does for you. Most of the time clients come in here and they get on our machine and they're amazed at how quickly their strength increases, but also they'll sometimes they'll get off the machine and go, God, I itch. Well, that's a sign that your body is stirring up the toxins and that just toxins that your body you know, you wants, you to, wants you to itch and scratch. So it happens all the time. We see it all the time. So go to healthvibrate.com, healthvibrate.com. You can see the sale of the particular machines we have on sale this month, healthvibrate.com. All right, so back to this wonder, amazing liver. Uh, I'll never forget the time that I did my first liver cleanse because I had this pain, as I mentioned, in my liver down my right side. I couldn't figure out what it was. And when I did my cleanse, I had these big old stones come out. So the liver is literally gonna wrap bile around these pesticides, toxins, heavy metals, whatever you've been consuming. And it's doing that to protect you. But you have 50,000 of these bile ducts. So if they're getting blocked, now you've got a problem with the other cells in the liver dying off. And we don't want that to happen. We wanna keep these clear, these pathways clear. And in order to do that, we got to begin with colon hydrotherapy. So if we clean out the colon first, then we can clear out all that old buildup of, of debris that's been in there for quite some time. I mean, many of you, you've had the same gunk in there for maybe 10, maybe 20, 30, 40 years. And it's black as night. For those of you who got diverticulitis, even worse, you've got pockets of this stuff. Parasites love to hang out in those. Parasites, yes, you've got parasites. Everyone's got parasites. They outnumber us, about 10,000 to one. They're everywhere, especially in some of the foods that you consume on a regular basis, like pork, which is why I avoid pork today. And I used to raise pork. I used to raise hogs back when I was a kid. It was my going to school and uh, money for college. And uh, I got to tell you, we had those hogs had parasites. And there was a study done. Oh, I think I don't know which university it was. I can't remember now. I think it was the University of Washington years ago. And they actually burnt pork and still couldn't kill the parasites. So uh, parasites are a real deal. Uh, we see them all the time down here. Uh, they come out in, and you see them in the viewing tube. And it's another big problem when it comes to brain fog, uh, when it comes to having anxiety, when it comes to having depression, when it comes to uh, you know not feeling right. It's why on full moons, the hospitals, the police departments, the fire departments are very, very busy because the parasites are laying their eggs. And so you're going a little bit cattywampus on, on, on yourself and you're not your, your normal self. So that is why it's important to also do a parasite cleanse, which we do on our, our healing retreat. And you'll find that again on the webinar at livingwaterscleanse.com. So let's talk more about how do we prevent getting these gallstones? How do we prevent 
uh, having all these toxins in our body? How do we get them out once we've got them? Because most of the people listening to the show, you've got a lot of toxins in your body, especially if you're just if you just born even, living this summer through the junk we had in the air. And further, if you're eating out of pots and pans that uh, are leaching off toxins like these Teflon pans, you definitely get rid of them. So if you're listening to us, you're just joining us, if you want to catch our whole show, uh, we we put these uh, up on the podcast the day after the show, so you can find this either tonight or tomorrow at wholebodydetoxshow.com. We've been talking about the liver gallbladder today, that amazing liver and all the jobs it does, and why it's so important to understand taking proper care of your liver gallbladder. So I painted the picture on the last segment of how the body takes the toxins. And if we said, if you have a plugged up colon, that's going to push this fecal matter out and it affects every organ in the body. But today we're talking about the liver gallbladder. So when the liver gets the filter, by the, the liver, it is a filter, uh, when it gets blocked up, it'll create these stones. Uh, or it has already created the stones, that's why it's blocked up. Getting them out is very, very important because the liver does, we don't know, a couple thousand transactions. So if you're experiencing some of the things I mentioned earlier, psoriasis, hives, rashes, thyroid issues, hormone issues, those kinds of things, it's really important to understand that we've got to take care of the liver as well as managing the bowels. Because if we open up that pathway and detoxify the bowels, the colon and the small intestine, which is the surface area the size of a tennis court, a lot of area to be cared for, it's really important to open up those pathways so when we dump the stones out of the liver, it has a free pathway to get it out of the body quickly and easily. So uh, it's really important to also understand is that that gallbladder, when you have, you eat ice cream or you have steak, the liver has been dripping a little bit of bile all day long into the gallbladder. And once we eat and we have that need to digest that protein source or that fat source, the gallbladder is going to squeeze out some bile into the duodenum. And when it does that, that's going to help basically break up that food that you just had. Now, if you've lost your gallbladder, you've got a different problem now. If it was taken out because of gallstones, uh, then you've got a different problem. You have bile just dripping all day long into your duodenum, which is not a good thing as well. So let's talk about how those how the gallbladder got the stones in the first place. Well, if your liver is toxic, and it's, and, and whose isn't, because we're living in a very, very toxic time, toxic world. I've mentioned in previous shows all the different sources of toxins that we can get. I'm not going into it today, but just suffice to say, as you know, uh, there's so many different, if you're not eating organic, you've got a little boatload of toxins already from that alone. And if you're living near where people spray pesticides, and, and if you're in, any kind of city where there's lots of congestion, you're gonna have these toxins. So the liver will wrap uh, the toxins with bile and they're sitting in these ducts. And we wanna get them out of there and that's the process of doing a liver cleanse. Now, when the bile is, uh, you're screening out toxic bile out of the liver, it goes into the gallbladder where it's just held. It's a storage mechanism. And over time, those will calcify and you're gonna get a buildup in there. And this becomes a problem, especially when the gallbladder is called to squirt out some bile. And if these stones have become big enough, it can block the duct. And that is painful. For those of you who've had your gallbladder out, you know, you think you're dying. You're not. I remember years ago, my wife was told I'd rushed to the hospital because she was having this attack. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it was a heart attack. I mean, she was just really in super pain. And I took her to the hospital and they did some scans. They determined, oh, you've got gallstones. Okay, well, what does that mean? This is back about... Oh, almost 30 years ago. And I remember the doctor saying to her, she says, you know, you need to get this gallbladder out. If you don't get the gallbladder out, next time this happens, you may die. And I looked at him, I thought, oh, come on. These are gallstones. There's got to be a way to heal this. And of course, we figured it out. And my wife to this day uh, has, still has her gallbladder. But we figured out what to do as part of our educational process. If you have been diagnosed with a thing called fatty liver, that's not a liver that is fat. That is a liver who has a lot of toxicity stored up in it, including these, what I call these liver stones. And it's really important to understand that you have, there's a process of getting these things out. Now, when it blocks the ducts, you're gonna have a problem 
with just the everyday processes in the body because the liver is doing so much. It's also important to know that standard clinical tests almost never reveal the occurrence of gallstones in the liver. Most doctors don't even know they're there. But this is where many dis hyphen eases begin is when you have those blockages from the normal everyday operation of the liver and the gallbladder, and it's gonna create a problem somewhere else in the body because the liver has direct control over the growth and functioning of every cell in the body. So any kind of malfunction, any abnormal growth pattern of any cell is largely due to poor liver performance. Even when it has lost the 60% of its original efficiency, the liver's extraordinary design and being resourceful may allow it to perform properly, as indicated by proper uh, nor normal blood values. So the doctor can get literally misled. Uh, however, most diseases can be traced back to how the liver is not functioning properly. But we have seen people turn around their liver problems. We've seen cirrhosis of the liver get turned around. They told this guy, one of our clients years ago, it was back in 2011, he came in here, his face was bright purple. My son called him Santa Claus. Uh, he had hepatitis C. He had been diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver. So in other words, he had a big problem going on. And of course, because of that, he could barely function himself. I mean, he might be able to squeeze out five hours of work, but it resulted in a lot of brain fog. But anyway, if you've got rosacea on your face, <laughs> That's not your problem. That's a sign. That's a symptom of a, of a deeper problem, and it, it goes back to the liver. And why does the liver have the problem? Because your bowels have a problem. In other words, you're harboring all this garbage in your colon and small intestine, and as I mentioned earlier, that's seeping out into the blood system, and the blood system dripping it into the tissues, and the lymphatic is picking it up, and then the lymphatic gets up, gets, picks it up, and then it gets blocked, and now you might get diagnosed with a cancer problem, uh, and they want to take out the lymphatic uh, ducts, which is not the problem. That's the symptom of the problem. The symptom goes back to bowel. So be, the basic foundation is managing bowel health. You've got to begin there. A healthy liver will receive and filters three pints of blood per minute and produces 1 to 1.5 quarts of bile every single day. This ensures that all the activities in the liver and the rest of the body run smoothly and efficiently. So if you have gallstones that are blocking the ducts, this undermines the liver's ability to perform properly. It also prevents the liver from delivering the proper nutrition that it needs to deliver. So one of the, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to upset the apple cart, if you will. In this case, our body's homeostasis. And a clear example of this is the, the concentration of endocrine hormones, estrogen and aldosterone in the blood. So these hormones produced in both men and women are responsible for the correct amount of salt and water retention. When stones congest the gallbladder and the liver's bile ducts, these hormones may not be broken down and detoxified sufficiently. Therefore, their concentration of blood rises to abnormal levels, causing tissue swelling and water retention. Most oncologists consider elevated estrogen levels to be the leading cause of breast cancer among women. In men, high levels of this hormone can lead to excessive development of breast tissue and weight gain. Over 60% of the American population is overweight or obese. Men, women, children suffer mainly from fluid retention. The retained fluids help trap and neutralize the noxious substances that the liver can no longer remove from the body. This helps the overweight or obese person to survive a major, possibly fatal toxicity crisis, such as a heart attack, septic poisoning, or even massive infection. The side effect of fluid retention in the tissues, however, is that it causes these toxins and other harmful waste matter to accumulate in various parts of the body and further congest pathways of circulation and elimination. Wherever in the body, the storage capacity for toxins and waste is exceeded, symptoms of your illness begins to occur. 
We'll talk about more of this when we come back on the other side. You've been listening to the Whole Body Detox Show. I'm David DeHaas from Living Waters, livingwaterscleanse.com. If you want to learn more about us, you can call the office directly at 208-378-9911. Be back in a moment. You can't treat the body and heal it a piece at a time. You have to treat the whole body naturally. That's why Living Waters Wellness Center 10-Day Healing Retreat is so successful in helping what I call the incurables back to wellness. Here's what a few clients had to say about their experience at Living Waters Wellness Center. For over a year, I've been dealing with gas pains, stomach pains, and been waking me up in the middle of the night, so I never get a full night's rest. And last night, after my first colonics, I slept through the entire night without any stomach pain or any kind of issues. I suffered from migraine headaches for 12 years, once a month, and since I did the 10-day retreat at Living Waters Wellness Center eight years ago, I have not even had a migraine, I've not even had a headache. I had back pain on my left side for about 20, 25 years. After the 10-day healing retreat, the pain is completely gone. To learn more about the 10-day healing retreat, go to healingtheincurables.com or call the office at 208-378-9911. That's 208-378-9911. The preceding examples may not be typical of your experience and may not be right for you. Seek the opinion of a qualified health care professional before determining if cleansing is right for you. Well, we're back, everyone. David DeHaas from livingwaterscleanse.com, Living Waters Wellness Center, your host of the Whole Body Detox Show. We've been talking about the liver and the gallbladder today, and we're talking about how the liver affects so many different transactions in your body. Uh, we've been talking about the importance of bile. Your liver is producing bile. It squeezes it into the, the gallbladder. And over time, that gallbladder, of course, can those stones can get calcified, and when you go to squeeze bile out to digest food in the duodenum, then you can have that really sharp pain if it gets stuck in that bile duct. Doctors will say, let's take it out of there. And what we say is, why don't we do a liver cleanse instead? But we have to start with cleaning out the colon first, because that's where all matters began. We can't dump things until we have proper emptying of the alimentary canal, and we have to have an open channel, so when you dump the toxins out of the liver, it has a place to go. Otherwise... The body's going to reabsorb this mess, and you could get very, very sick. There are so many symptoms related to a improper operating liver and gallbladder. If you suffer from any of the symptoms, of these symptoms, it's likely the result of having numerous gallstones in your liver and gallbladder. It could be low appetite, food cravings, digestive disorders, diarrhea, constipation, clay-colored stool, hernia, flatulence, hemorrhoids, dull pain in the right side, difficulty breathing, sources of the liver, hepatitis, most infections, duodenal ulcers, nausea and vomiting, depression, impotence, other sexual problems, prostate issues, urinary problems, hormonal imbalances, menstrual and menopausal disorders, problems with vision, puffy eyes, any skin disorder, psoriasis, acne, hives, liver spots on the back of your neck, hands, and facial area, dizziness and fainting spells, vertigo, loss of muscle tone, excessive weight or wasting, shoulder or back pain, pain at the top of your shoulder blade, dark circle under the eyes, morbid complexion, tongue that is glossy or coated in white or yellow, scoliosis, gout, frozen shoulder, stiff neck, asthma, headaches and migraines, tooth and gum problems, Yellowness of the eyes and skin, sciatica, numbness of paralysis of the legs, joint diseases, knee problems, osteoporosis, obesity, chronic fatigue, kidney diseases, cancer, MS, Alzheimer's disease, cold extremities, excessive heat and perspiration in the upper part of the body, greasy hair and hair loss, cuts or wounds that keep bleeding and don't want to heal, difficulty sleeping, nightmares, stiffness of joints and muscles, hot and cold flashes. I mean, it's so important to take care of this liver because it's doing so much. And that's why we have such success on our 10-day healing retreat. And you'll learn more about that at livingwaterscleanse.com. Click on the webinar, Four Natural Laws of Healing, to learn all about it. But we've seen people with these symptoms come in over the years. Some people so severe they can't walk. We have to lift them up out of their wheelchair. Dark circles under their eyes. And they do our 10-day retreat. We get the colon clean. We clean the liver. We see the parasites come out. The joint pain goes down. We've seen rheumatoid arthritis decrease. I mean where the, the knuckles are just built up and they can't squeeze their hand. Now they can squeeze their hands. Now they can go out and work in their garden. Now they can have mobility again. 
just by doing a thorough deep tissue cleanse. And we and, one, and part of that is doing our liver cleanse. And the and the reason why we do the liver cl cleanse with the colonitis therapy because it's part of it's everything's connected, guys, as you've heard here. So when you are overweight, for example, the liver is saying, "Look, it, I have no place to store these toxins anymore. The bile ducts are pretty much plugged up. I'm going to create a storage place for this." Now, a lot of times it'll store it in the subcutaneous tissue, which is fat. Then, with a stressful event, you may have itchy skin, or worse, it becomes a thing called psoriasis, or you can call it hives. If you went to a traditional doctor, dermatologist, they may give you a steroid cream of some kind to suppress it, but you're not getting to the root of the problem. And for those of you trying to lose weight, the body says, wait on, hold on, I'm going to create some fat here. You've got a lot of heavy metals. I don't have enough storage facilities here. Let's make some more fat. So they create some abdominal fat. And now you've got heavy metals and these toxins in your fat area. And you, some of you go on this weight loss binge of some kind. And you eat some kind, do some kind of a diet, and you lose a bunch of weight, and then you gain it right back, because the body is trying to keep you safe, and it has the, it has to look for some place to store these toxins. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the big things the bile does is to break down fat. So if it is not working efficiently because it's plugged up, then the undigested fat reaches the colon along with other waste products. Bacteria is going to break that down, some of the fat into fatty acids or excrete it with a stool. Now, since fat is lighter than water, having fat in the stool may cause it to float. So if you look on the stool and you see a floating stool, you know you've got a problem. When fat is not absorbed, calcium is not absorbed either, leaving the blood in a def deficit. So the blood subsequently takes extra calcium from the bones. It has to, because the body needs it. And the bone can give it up temporarily. For those of you who have osteoporosis, this has been stealing, robbing Peter to pay Paul has been going for a long, long time. So most bone density problems arise from insufficient bile secretion in the poor digestion of fats rather than not consuming enough calcium. So this whole thing about drink your milk, take your dairy products to get calcium, it's probably the worst thing you can do because now you're creating mucus and now you may have a lung issue, you may have allergies, uh, or you may have a breathing problem, asthma. And that goes back to this mucus that you've laid into your body thinking you're doing your bones a favor when you're really not. Bile also helps remove toxins from the liver, which is great. But now, if the pathways are blocked, as I mentioned earlier, you've got a further problem. When gallstones in the liver or the gallbladder have impeded bile flow, the color of the stool may be tan, orange yellow, or pale as in clay, instead of the normal greenish-brown. Gallstones are the direct product of an unhealthy diet and lifestyle. So if gallstones are still present in the liver after all the other disease-causing formations are eliminated, that's going to pose a really significant health risk and can lead to illness and premature aging. One of the big things that we see here on the 10-day healing retreat is the color of the skin changing especially after liver cleanse day, which is usually for us, depending upon the person, somewhere around day seven or eight, just depends on how well they're flushing out. And it, it's like watching the sun come up on the skin. The, the, the amount of, the, or the decrease in the appearance of the age is, in some cases, mind-boggling to me. <laughs> Even though I've been watching this for over 12 years. It's one of the coolest miracles I get to watch on a, day, on a monthly basis. For those of you worried about certain viruses that are falling around, you've got to understand, and you're wearing these masks, these masks, when you think about the billions, billions of bacteria in your mouth alone, it's really important to understand you're breathing that into the mask and you're breathing it back in. You're putting a lot of stress on your body. Furthermore, you may have a problem a little bit farther down in the gallbladder. And yes, this can cause problems in the mouth. The stones interfere with the digestion and absorption of food, which in turn forces waste products meant for elimination to remain in the intestinal tract. The storage of waste in the intestines creates a toxic anaerobic environment that supports breeding of destructive germs and parasites and undermines preservation of healthy, resilient tissues. 
Now you can have a bacterial infection like thrush or a viral infection like herpes in the mouth. And that occurs only when the intestines have accumulated considerable amounts of undigested waste matter. That's why it's so important to do colon hydrotherapy. And that's why you must do colon hydrotherapy first before we cleanse the liver and gallbladder. Uh, this show is sponsored, of course, by Living Waters Wellness Center, livingwaterscleanse.com. We've been talking about the liver and gallbladder. If you want to know more about healing from within, you need to go watch the video, Four Natural Laws of Healing. You'll find it on our website at livingwaterscleanse.com. Or you can call the office, and we'd be happy to send it out to you via email. We were, As we left off, we were talking about the, in, the infections in the mouth that can occur because of a very toxic system, including your anometric canal, otherwise known as the colon and small intestine. And when you have a lot of backup in there, you're going to have stones in your liver and your gallbladder. And that's going to affect everything from your hormones, the way your skin appears, how well you move about the day, whether you've got joint pain or not. It all goes back to the root cause. And we've got to look at the bowels first, then work our way up, clear out the parasites. And by guys, guys, we see so many liver flukes come out during our 10-day healing retreat. It's really important to know how to handle that. So for those of you who've had thrush, for example, thrush indicates the presence of large quantities of bacteria that have spread throughout the gastrointestinal tract, including the mouth area. It shows up in the mouth because the mucus lining there is not as developed and resistant as in the lower parts of the GI tract. The main source of thrush, though, is in the intestines. Since the largest part of the immune system in the body is located in the mucus lining of the GI tract, thrush indicates a major weakness in the body's general immunity to disease. Herpes, which the doctors consider a viral disease, is similar to thrush, with the exception that instead of bacteria attacking the cell exterior, viral materials attack the nucleus or cell interior. In both cases, the attackers target only weak and unhealthy cells. That is, cells that are already damaged or dysfunctional and are susceptible to mutate into cancerous cells. So guys, if you want to prevent cancer, we've got to do a deep tissue cleanse. Other symptoms you can have is tooth decay, gum destruction. We see that a lot. Uh, people come in here to the cleanse. We start you know, finding out all the different symptoms, and it's not unusual that there's a problem with the mouth as well. And if you look on a, a big chart, You'll see all the nerve connections not only go to the gut, but also up to the teeth as well. So if you're having problems there, again, how do we heal all this? we got to clean out the body thoroughly. You can't just clean out a part of your home. You have to clean out the whole home. And you've got to begin by getting the pathways. So for example, an analogy of your home, if, you're, if you're, every room in your home was full of garbage, and even the hallways, you'd start with a hallway, the hallway to the door. You'd clean that out, and then you'd start with the first room, the second room. In this case, let's open up the first major hallway, the colon, and then small intestine. Then let's clean the blood, because the blood is what transfers the nutrition to the cells. What are you made up of? Cells, trillions and trillions of cells, about 50 trillion cells, I believe. It's a lot to take care of. Why are the cells so important? That's where your fuel furnace is, or what's known as the mitochondria. And if you've got toxic bowels, you've got toxic blood, you've got toxic lymphatic system, guys, now you've got toxic liver, you've got toxic gallbladder, you've got these stones in there. And we've seen these stones come out, like I mentioned earlier, my first one, when I was feeling that pain in my liver, was as big as my thumb, and it was as black as night. Been there a while. I uh, had another customer that came in a few years uh, back. And again, same thing, kind of same symptoms as I had. Had this pain on his lower right side. And I says, I'm going to bet anything you've got a lot of toxins in your liver, which is not unusual. Most people do. I says, and that's what's causing that pain. And sure enough, big, massive stones came out on his liver cleanse day. So it's really important to understand deep tissue cleansing is your solution. And it's inexpensive compared to surgery. And going without a gallbladder Every person I've ever interviewed, look at their intake form, that's had their gallbladder out, they've had a constipation problem and still do. If you don't take care of your constipation problem, and usually if you look at the connection of the where the gallbladder connects, it's lower right side of your ascending colon. So if the neurons aren't firing and wiring that nerve, you're going to have a problem in addition to all the toxins that's being stored. 
We have to clean that colon out, guys. There's only one way you're going to do it. You're not going to do it by eating more fiber. When you've had stuff in there for that many years, you need to scrub it. You need to put water to it. And that's the beauty of colon hydrotherapy is that simple hydration. By the way, make a little offer to you guys. We'll give you the $99 special. Just mention you heard us on KIDO. Come in and try a colonic, guys. It's My mission is to get everyone to do colonics. You, know, you think about it. I want to make this as popular as, as doing your daily shower. You think about it about 100 years ago. Most people didn't do a shower. They maybe would do a bath once or twice a week. Well, no, most people do a shower maybe daily. And ideally, I want to make colon hydrotherapy as popular as that. Because once you do a colonic, once you get the gut cleaned out, as most of our clients react when they get off the bed, I feel lighter and refreshed. Some don't at first some because they're dumping so many toxins. But they keep cleansing. And when they get done, especially our, the, the people that come through our 10-day healing retreat, and really, if you really want to get your body well, quickly, easily, the fastest, quickest way is to do the 10-day healing retreat. We opened this up in 2009 with only be open 10 days a month to do the 10-day healing retreat. That was our that was going to be the modus operandi. <laughs> and of course, we you know people want to come back for a touch-up and okay, we'll be open for that. And next thing you know, we got people coming in just doing clonics and pretty soon now we've got a lot of people coming back for maintenance. But really, the, the whole purpose was to offer the 10-day healing retreat. It's your most inexpensive, highest return on investment of your healthcare dollar. And if you want to get your liver well, if you want to get the mucus out, if you want to get rid of your allergies, your asthma, your uh, the acid reflux that's going on, you've got to do a deep tissue cleanse. Sure, you can take supplements. Sure, you can throw some probiotics at it. But guys, it's not going to it's not going to do the, the have the effect. It's like going into your refrigerator with all this rotty, moldy food and throwing up some probiotics on the shelf or some yogurt and say, "Hey, clean up my food." Clean up that moldy, rotty mess. No, you wouldn't do that. You'd clean up the refrigerator and then put fresh food in. Well, that's what we got to do with the body. And that's where it's so important to understand how important it is to clean this up. Because your liver, for those of you, as I mentioned earlier, with the hormone and thyroid issues, I've seen that change. PMS. Oh, my gosh. I've had people come in here with severe PMS issues. They start deep tissue cleansing. Um, I've... Everything changes. They go from having severe menstrual cycles to much lighter menstrual cycles. For those of you who are having problems trying to conceive, I had a story of a gal years ago. She was told she couldn't have any kids, so she went out and adopted. And uh, <clears throat> she was raising her, her adopted kids and enjoying life and did her 10-day cleanse. And guess what? She got pregnant. Not once, but twice. Had another gal that came through and she got out a little tiny thing and got tons of parasites and my wife had this premonition you know you might want to you know i know you got five kids but you know i sense you might be careful you might get pregnant again if you don't want to get pregnant she goes oh not a problem that's never going to happen to me sure enough she got pregnant so we clean out the body hormones hum better thyroid's working better brain's working better clear thinking joints work better and especially this liver so guys you want to keep your gallbladder you don't want to have it out. It's an essential organ, just like the appendix. And the appendix and the gallbladder are two of the primary uh, causes of that is constipation. Lower right side of the bowels. And that can get as big as 16 inches in diameter. It can hold a lot of stuff. And that's where the parasites hang out. They love it because you're feeding them from the small intestine. The food's dropping in there. And it's a problem. You've got to clean it out. So really important to understand that. So... Take me up on my $99 special. Look, at call this week, book your appointment, $99. I'm going to give you two other uh, modalities, far infrared biomass session and lymphatic detox as well. So all that, it's a $200 plus dollar value for just $99. Call the office at 208-378-9911. That's 208-378-9911. Or go to our website, livingwatercleanse.com to learn more, especially watching the webinar. It tells you how to clean all this mess up internally. I'm David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center. You make it a blessed week. You can't treat the body and heal it a piece at a time. You have to treat the whole body naturally. That's why Living Waters Wellness Center 10-Day Healing Retreat is so successful in helping what I call the incurables back to wellness. Here's what a few clients had to say about their experience at Living Waters Wellness Center. For over a year, I've been dealing with gas pains, and stomach pains, and been waking me up in the middle of the night, so I never get a full night's rest. And last night, after my first colonics, 
I slept through the entire night without any stomach pain or any kind of issues. I suffered from migraine headaches for 12 years, once a month. And since I did the 10 day retreat at Living Waters Wellness Center eight years ago, I have not even had a migraine. I've not even had a headache. I had back pain on my left side for about 20, 25 years after the 10 day healing retreat. The pain is completely gone. To learn more about the 10-day healing retreat, go to healingincurables.com or call the office at 208-378-9911. That's 208-378-9911. The preceding examples may not be typical of your experience and may not be right for you. Seek the opinion of a qualified healthcare professional before determining if cleansing is right for you.